one of those teams that could be flying under the radar this season might hail from the Pacific Northwest. We're talking about the Washington Huskies, who closed out the 2015 season on a high note, winning their last three games impressively. And they did so with a true freshman at both quarterback and at running back. And with a lot of other starters back, it could be the year that Washington makes a serious charge in the Pac-12. The Huskies a year ago were the leaders in team defense when it came to the Pac-12. In fact, they were number one as well in rush defense, allowing just 125 yards on the ground per game. And the Husky defense hopes that they can continue that fine play, but will have to overcome the losses of uh, some seniors, uh, Corey Littleton, as well as uh, Travis Feeney from the linebacker spot. Secondary, they know that they can get better in this area with Kevin King as well as Sidney Jones, the corners they return. Uh, Jones is known as a terrific cover guy. And the safety, that's uh, Buda Baker with his spine speed. Linebackers, again, you have to overcome the loss of Feeney, but you have Asim uh, Victor with his high intensity as well as uh, Keyshawn uh, Bieria. So these two guys expected to lead the linebacking core. And the defensive line that was so good against the run, Greg Gaines is back. While the Husky offense was unbelievable in their seven wins in the six losses, boy, what a huge difference. The Huskies didn't even break 20 on average in their six defeats during the 2015 season. And you might remember the Huskies lost four of their first seven last year, largely because the offense wasn't always consistent. Ground game, we'll see how it does, and you return a 1,300-yard rusher in Miles Gaskin. Remember, he did this as a true freshman. Speaking of true freshman, you know, Jake Browning showed some signs of promise, so you have him back and the tight end in Daryl Daniels, who I'm sure Browning will be counting on. Receivers, they're not very deep in this area. You do have uh, Dante Pettis, the all-purpose player, but he's going to need a lot more help. The entire left side of the offensive line is back, and you have the center returning in Coleman Shelton. This is not a group that has a lot of depth on that offensive line. So, obviously, the health of those Washington players will be key in seeing if they can progress from last season. What concerns me is do we have enough ice for all this beer? Plenty. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, well, how about food, son? You bring enough food? Plenty. The Huskies should get off to a 3-0 start before getting into my six-pack of games to consume. The first on that list, Pac-12 opener at Arizona. And then perhaps the two toughest teams on their schedule will be back-to-back. -back. Late September on a Friday night against the Cardinal and the following week in Eugene against the Ducks. Later on in the year, November the 12th, a matchup with Southern Cal. And don't forget about the Apple Cup against Washington State in Pullman. The Huskies are one of those teams whose stock's on the rise. A lot of players back. And let's face it, the Pac-12 North is more wide open than it's ever been. I look for the Huskies to be a major contender in this conference. That's my look at the Huskies. See you.